And now one of the women who is actually supposed to be featured on that film named Lisa Van Allen is definitely talking about what happened and she's been speaking to the real about it now she said she feels like the threat was an act of desperation from somebody in his camp because it came from chicago she said everyone knows who that could have been she also made sure to say that she wanted to raise awareness about the abusive situations that she went through with r kelly and she wanted to reach out to the people that were still in the situation with R. Kelly. Mind you, there's about six or seven women that they're saying is a part of some type of sex cult of R. Kelly's. We do know that there are several books that have been published about R. Kelly from these young women and from R. Kelly himself. I have read those books on this channel. And so people know that this does exist. However, nothing is being done about it. So this is their way of actually making sure something gets done about it. In a similar fashion that they did Bill Cosby, this film is going to feature over 50 interviews with activists, with artists, with his alleged victims, and with Andrea Kelly, his ex-wife, with some of his former associates, two of his brothers, Carrie and Bruce Kelly, okay? And they all have made a promise of telling the true story of who R. Kelly really is from the beginning until right now, okay? So one more thing is, according to Lifetime, here is a quote. They're supposed to shed light on the R&B star whose history of alleged abuse of underage African-American girls has until recently been largely ignored by mainstream media. Now, mind you, this is supposed to be coming out on January 3rd, 2019. It's a three-part docu-series. And I'm definitely going to be in attendance. I want you guys to know that this is the same young lady that testified against R. Kelly in a child pornography case. Here is what she had to say. She said that he carried around a duffel bag filled with homemade sex videos wherever he wanted. And she also said that while they were making the tape, he cut off filming when she started crying during three-way sex with an underage girl. Here's a quote from her. He got upset and said he couldn't watch that. He couldn't do anything with that, with me crying. He stopped the camera. The tapes he carried with him, he also carried to the recording studio and his favorite gym on the near west side, she said. Also to video shoots. She said wherever he was at, the duffel bag would follow. She also said that covering up her relationship with R. Kelly and how she ultimately became a witness against him came under fire, fierce attack by defense, which contended she wanted money from Kelly. She didn't want any money from him. She just wanted people to be aware of what was going on. She also said that his business manager, Daryl McDavid, paid her and another man $20,000 for them to return one of their sex tapes to him. R. Kelly was charged with child pornography and allegedly videotaping himself having sex with an underage girl. And the jurors were also told by this young lady that he had threesomes with underage girls and herself several times. They were using his appearance, his bald head, his hands, his hair, his genitals, and everything to identify him. And she at the time was 27 years old and pregnant with her second child. She said they talked for a while and they ended up having intercourse. They were in a relationship from 1998 to 2001. She would visit him in hotels and studios. She would be touring with him and she even appeared on two of his videos. She said that and R. Kelly slept with a 16 year old girl and she also said that they slept with a girl so young as 13 years old. She said that they had sex with the young lady on the indoor basketball court and that's the 13 year old that we're speaking up. She cried as she described how he put a futon mattress in the middle of the court and it was during that three-way encounter that she actually started weeping during the videotaping of it. She said they had sex again in 2000 inside of his trailer at his video shoot in Chicago and then he flew Van Allen and her fiance Yule Brown to Chicago in hopes of retrieving a videotape from the first threesome but Kelly offered them $250,000 for the tape this time. 
anyways let me just tell you guys this is definitely a whole mess they accused her of cooking up a scheme and other things of that nature but the girl had video proof and i don't know why but for some odd reason she was able to get paid out and this was able to go nowhere and it's just really sad something needs to be done so the reason why this allegedly didn't go anywhere as i went back and researched is because the attorney adam says that van allen did not contact Cook County prosecutors until earlier this year after her husband was charged with illegally having an AK-47 and drugs and he had gotten probation. Adam said that she cooked up a scheme and they wanted money in exchange for the videotape in order to pay that off. Said she was stirring up a story for the motive of money. This whole thing is a mess with R. Kelly. I don't know why this is coming out now and why she didn't say anything back then when it was really really important why would you wait until you have your husband and your second child i want you guys to watch this clip down below let me know what you think and what vibe you're getting off of this woman a lot of people are saying well why they wait so long to come out and stuff like that you know you can always say that people have their own ways and own time of doing things but i want to know how you guys feel leave it down below make sure you watch up and make sure you guys like and subscribe